Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about how to rank on page one with the free Google Sites. And as you know, if you've been watching my previous videos, I'm obsessing at the moment of trying to find new free AI Parasite SEO pages or just, you know, Parasite SEO pages in general. And I wasn't thinking about Google Sites, but when I was Googling my brand name today, I just found out that one of the Google Sites I created some months ago is actually outranking my Facebook page. My name is Jesper Nissen and I've been doing SEO since 2008 and I'm the owner and founder of Schema Writer, the leading platform for schema markup generation and also for Yax, the leading platform to build cloud links and monitoring of GBP rankings. So let's get started. So as I was saying, I was Googling my own brand name and let me show you what I found. Jesper Nissen SEO. So number one is of course my own website, jespernissen.com. But down here at position four, it's very interesting because you can see this Google site is ranking down here. So it's outranking my, let me see here. Here I have my LinkedIn profile, my YouTube, the Google site, my website again, my Danish agency site, YouTube, and then my Facebook page. This Google site that's ranking here on position four for my brand name was not optimized for Jesper Nissen SEO. It is mentioned because it is talking about my agency here in Oval. So it was a Google site that I built for this course local link building. And the target keyword for this Google site was SEO agency in Olbo. So you can see here that uh, this content and this content, all of it is written by AI. So the way that I actually produced this content was I asked ChatGPT to read my homepage and uh, then I told ChatGPT I want to rank in the vicinity of where I live. And then it came up with this article. So it's actually a decent article. It's talking about me, Jesper Nissen, SEO, where I live. It's also mentioning, you know, city names around where I live, Nør Sundby and Vejgo and Klaup and Gu. So these are all local city names. And then it's mentioning my offerings. I actually think that I might have used a, a version of the human prop that you can actually find in my YouTube channel. But I think that the, this is a decent, it is actually a very good idea to include when you, you know, what we offer and then include these bullet points. So I didn't edit this myself. It was ChatGPT that actually came up with this bullet point and yeah, so it's actually explaining what I do. So that's actually nice. Uh, but then I included these driving directions. And this is interesting because if I click on one of these one of these guys here, dude, what we're looking at here is a driving direction from a place called Limfjorden to my Google business profile. And if, if I click on one of uh, the other guys here, dude, so this is also a driving direction from another place in Olbo to my Google business profile. And uh, so that's the same thing actually with all of these here, dude. So this is also from another place here in Olbo, linking back to my Google business profile. So this is part of the process that I sketched in the previous video where you, you have this area that you want to rank in and then you create these driving directions and I'm, I'm doing it automated in Yaks, but you could also do it manually, of course, because it's very easy to do. You're creating this circle of driving directions that are all pointing into your Google business profile. So this Google site is, as I told you, it's uh, done in hand. And you can see here, so this is a Google map that I created. And this is just the maps profile. So if we are looking at the keyword SEO agency in Olbo, and we are searching for this, dude. So what we're seeing here is that because this is a local search term, we're seeing the Google three pack, the maps three pack. And then at number one, position one here, we're seeing this Google site. So SEO agency in Olbo, that's a decent result. And if I do search for my search term, I see that it's ranking number four. The way that I actually achieve this ranking is not only by the ranking power of the Google site, because I did build a cloud stack to this Google site. And the cloud stack is a series of interlinked static HTML pages that I upload to Amazon and Google Cloud. And you can watch some of the other videos in my channel. I'm talking about cloud links. So it's not a standalone site per se, because it is part of a, what you could call tiered link building structure. So the first tier, this is the Google site. 
and then tier two, tier three, tier four. So I had three tiers of cloud links pointing to this Google site. So all of this accumulated power of all of these cloud pages are pointing into this Google site. So let's see here. So let's go over to, let's go over to Mangoose here, dude. Let's see what the power is of this guy. So the domain authority of a Google site is 94, of course, so it's super high. But the domain authority of the sites.google.com is still 96, but the page authority is 49. And you can see that it has citations flow that is not zero, and that's because I did build some backlinks. You can actually see one of the backlinks that are built inside of Mangoose, US East 1 Wasabi. And so this is one of the cloud links that I built. Let's actually see what that looks like. Yeah, so this is one of the cloud links. Again, it's it's AI content. What it shows us is that you can actually rank on page one for low competition keywords with these Google sites. And why is that even interesting if it's only low competition? Well, it's interesting because they're free. And if you own a local business or you own a, I don't know, small blocking site, but, but mainly local businesses, this is what you're looking for because what you're looking for is actually a page one that looks like this. Yes, but yes, but isn't this you? What you're looking for is a page, page one that looks like this. So when you're searching for your search terms, you want to see only your own websites. So it doesn't matter that the Google site is not ranking in top five for your local search terms. Even if it's ranking number six, it's still pushing out one of your competition sites, right? So that's the way that you should think. So you're building a YouTube channel, you're building Facebook posts, you're, uh, you're creating Facebook, you're creating Instagram posts, you're creating TikTok videos, you're, you're building Google sites, you're building Claude artifacts, Quint pages, Manus pages, perplexity pages, all of these guys, so that when, so that when you're searching for yourself, for your own brand, what you'll see is you'll see your website, you'll see the Claude artifact, the Facebook, uh, the YouTube, the Quen, all of these guys, all of these parasite SEO properties that's dominating page one for your own brands, either branded searches or local search terms. So yeah, that was it for today's video, guys. I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one.